I cannot wait for you all to see this story. From GM to Ford, we know electric vehicles are the future. And even with the current grid and infrastructure issues we have got to figure out, they are better for our planet. We got one here in my home because I wanted to be part of the climate crisis solution. But then I realized I don't really know anything about the new power and the battery I'm sitting on. It has lithium in it. And right now there is a white gold rush for lithium. It's an industry worth billions that could boost our economy, but at what cost to our planet? The critical element that powers our fast and loud world comes from some of the quietest, most desolate land on Earth, the Mojave Desert in Nevada. Here at Silver Peak, they're not mining rock, they're farming lithium. These brilliant blue pools come from wells that tapped underground salt aquifers. Each of them, nearly 500 football fields long, are rich in lithium. Now, once the original well is drilled, it goes through a series of ponds. They look beautiful, very different colors there behind me. The sun and the arid nature of Nevada here takes care of the processing. 18 months later, lithium carbonate. See, lithium is finite, and we've got to find a way to recycle it, because soon there will be a lot more batteries. Ford and GM among the car makers that are promising an electric slide. And the promise of a renewable industry we believe is important is the recycling of lithium. So the idea would be we get to a point where you recycle the resource. But that is something that we need to work on big time in this country and the globe. Nevada isn't the only state that has potential. California could produce up to 40% of the global lithium demand. We just have to find the technology to get it out. They could create $9 billion in revenue for this part of Nevada, but they're also endangering a very rare wildflower. There are only 15,000 15, of these plants, more or less. This varietal of wildflower is not known to grow anywhere else in the world. The buckwheat adapted to the lithium-rich soil. It's an important balance, and the wildflower is just another symbol of the debate between our energy future and our environment now. We absolutely need to do it right. And right now, those impacts are being offshored to distant countries. Do we need to do it here in America? We need to be asking those hard questions about what sacrifices are we gonna make. Our advocacy to protect this little wildflower here does not mean that we're trying to avoid those hard questions. In Nevada itself, there are two open pit mines planned, so we're gonna be watching those, but only 5% of lithium ion batteries right now are recycled the right way, so that has to change. But lithium is different than fossil fuel because it can be reused. We just have to make sure we do it right. You'll see so much more of that piece and more on It's Not Too Late, an Earth Day special that I am hosting. It is streaming now on Hulu and on ABC News Live this Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.